Hey everyone, it's Keisha Charmaine and I'm back and I'm here to talk about starting your locks over. There are several reasons why one may want to start their locks over. If they're mature locks and they've gathered a lot of buildup over the years, you over processed your locks and now they're really damaged. Your locks are lumpy. Maybe you're not pleased with the size of your locks. Maybe they're too small or too big, too thick or too thin. Your locks are taking too long to actually lock. If you're starting your locks over for any of those reasons, then this is the video for you. Stay tuned. I'll have a couple tips and ideas for you, okay? So first I'm gonna talk about the size. Maybe you're not pleased with the size your locks are coming out to be. Mind you, the size of your baby locks, your starter locks, will not necessarily dictate the size of your mature locks. So keep that in mind. Just remember that locks thicken up and they thin out. Experience is the best teacher in that regard. So you finally made the decision to start your locks over. Make sure that you take pictures of your parts so that whoever is starting your locks over for you has an idea of what you did not like. If you want them thinner, then they can look at the picture and make sure to make the parts even thinner than they were before. If you want your locks thicker, they can look at the parts and make them a bit bigger, you know what I mean? Also, you're gonna wanna pay attention to how many locks you had before. So if you want them thicker, you should have less locks than you did before. If you want them thinner, then you should have more locks. Maybe you're starting your locks over because the amount of locks that you have doesn't really give you the fullness that you want. You really wanna consider how much hair you have on your scalp. How dense is your hair? How thick is your hair? Because maybe you're trying to achieve a thickness that your hair just simply can't achieve. So you've been experiencing too much buildup and now you want to cut your locks off and start over. I would recommend that you try and exhaust all of your options of getting rid of that buildup before you actually go ahead and big chop and start over. There are natural methods to deep cleaning your locks such as apple cider vinegar rinses or you can do apple cider vinegar with baking soda rinses. I've, I mean, I get mixed reviews about the apple cider vinegar baking soda rinses, but I've never heard anything negative about just straight up apple cider vinegar, so I would recommend you trying that if you want a natural alternative to deep cleaning your locks. If not, if you want to use a shampoo, if you're not really too into, you know, natural remedies, I recommend Neutrogena Anti-Residue Shampoo. I have a video on that. Check it out. I think that this this shampoo is ideal and it works over time so I feel like if you use that shampoo or the other methods you can really get that buildup out and eventually your hair will be rid of product buildup. Now if you feel like it's going to be too much of a process or if it will be too extensive and too long and you just want to go ahead and cut them off, go ahead and cut them off. But keep in mind the products that you're using on your locks. You want to use lightweight products products that can easily be shampooed out because it's those heavier, greasier products like, you know, pro products with, with petroleum in them, like greases, you know, or products with like shea butter, too much of that. Th those heavy products tend to cause product buildup and it's, it's hard to wash those kind of products out of your locks. So try to eliminate or at least, you know, cut back a lot on using those sort of products so that you don't experience such build up in the future. If you're considering starting your locks over because they're so damaged, <sighs> I'm, I hate to break it to you, those commercials that advertise products that are, you know, damage reversing, there's really no such thing. You can, you know, mask your damage temporarily, but the damage is always going to be there and most likely it's going to get worse. So I understand, cut them off and start over, I get it. And when you do that, one thing to keep in mind so that you don't experience the excess damage again, minimize your artificial heat usage. You want to wash your hair, wash it in the morning so that it can dry throughout the day. If it's sunny where you live, go out in the sun and let your hair air dry. But minimize the usage of artificial heat. Minimize your dye usage. That's what I've been doing. I've only been dyeing my hair maybe twice a year, Not at least as of 2015, I think I only dyed it twice maybe three times and in the past I dyed it you know a lot more often than that but you know I'm, I'm trying to you know take more care of my hair so I minimize the dye usage so that's what you can do minimize the dye usage or don't dye at all if you feel like your hair is taking too long to lock maybe you want to consider the different techniques of starting locks if your hair is of a more coarse texture 
comb coils are ideal in my opinion but if your hair is of a softer looser texture then that may not be the most convenient method for you you may want to use interlocking you may want to use braid locks back combing look into those methods rather than comb coils which are the easiest to unravel if you're considering starting your locks over because your locks are lumpy you're probably experiencing the process of locking your, your locks are probably just immature you want to give it some more time lumps are part of the process it's natural just palm roll it you know during your washes during your bi-weekly monthly washes or however often you wash your hair palm roll them eventually they will become uniform however if you have mature lumpy locks I would suggest that you start them over and when you do try to be more consistent with your retwisting I find that that could be a result of retwisting too often and then taking a large break without retwisting at all and then retwisting them too often again is going to cause like an inconsistency in your locks that's a theory that I have at least you know take that with a grain of salt but from my experience palm rolling really does help to smoothen out your locks and create a cylindrical uniform design I hope this video helps someone leave me a comment below if you have any questions Thumbs the video up, subscribe, and share. Follow me on Instagram at Killa Does That. Thank you for watching. Love, light, and locks.